On the 14th of March, 1989, Mark James Kilroy, a student at the University of Texas at Austin, was abducted while on vacation in Matamoros, Tamaulipas, Mexico, during spring break. He was forcefully taken to a ranch where he endured hours of torture and sexual assault before being brutally murdered in a ritualistic human sacrifice. Kilroy's life was tragically ended by a machete blow, followed by the removal and boiling of his brain in a pot. To further desecrate his body, his abductors inserted a wire through his spinal column, amputated his legs at the knees, and buried him alongside fourteen other victims who had met the same fate at the ranch. Adolfo Constanzo, the cult's leader, convinced his followers that human sacrifice would shield them from law enforcement scrutiny regarding their drug smuggling activities. This heinous crime garnered significant global media attention and triggered an international manhunt due to its exceptionally disturbing nature. After the discovery of the bodies on the 11th of April, 1989, Constanzo escaped to Mexico City, but was eventually located. As his apartment complex was surrounded by the police, Constanzo met his demise by instructing one of the cult members to shoot him with a machine gun. At the scene, Sara Aldrete, another prominent member of the cult, was apprehended along with several others. In 1993, the cult members were convicted of various charges, including capital murder and drug trafficking. Nevertheless, some of them asserted their innocence in Kilroy's murder and claimed they were coerced into confessing under torture. Only two suspects are still at large. Mark James Kilroy was born in Chicago, Illinois, U.S., on March 5, 1968. His father, James William Jim Kilroy, worked as a chemical engineer, while his mother, Helen Josephine Kilroy, dedicated her time as a volunteer paramedic. Following Mark's birth, the family relocated from the Midwest to Texas. For more than 15 years, Mark and his brother Keith Richard Kilroy grew up in Santa Fe, Texas, a quaint town situated near Houston. Adolfo Constanzo, the killer of Kilroy, was an individual of Cuban-American descent who was born in Miami, Florida in 1962. Unfortunately, his father passed away when he was just a baby, prompting his mother to relocate to Puerto Rico with him, where she eventually remarried. In 1972, they returned to Florida, but tragedy struck once again when his stepfather passed away, leaving behind a substantial inheritance. His mother then entered into another marriage, this time with a man who was involved in both drug trafficking and the occult. It was during this period that Constanzo's stepfather instilled in him a philosophy that would shape the course of his life. He advised Constanzo to allow non-believers to destroy themselves with drugs while he could capitalize on their foolishness. Coinciding with these events, Constanzo's mother began to believe that her son possessed psychic abilities. She introduced him to Palo Mayombe, an Afro-Caribbean religion that involves animal sacrifice. He also was introduced to Santeria when he was younger. He started as a palero, someone who practices Palo Mayombe, and eventually reached the status of high priest Padrino. In 1984, he moved to Mexico City to start his life as a tarot card reader and eventually developed a cult following. The search for Kilroy initially began as a routine missing persons investigation. Students that were reported missing in Matamoros in the past would often turn up in the following days with a hangover and blurry memory of what had happened to them. Kilroy was one of the 60 people who had disappeared in Matamoros in the first three months of 1989. However, his case drew more attention in the U.S. because his uncle, Ken Kilroy, worked at the United States Customs Service in Los Angeles. On April 1, 1989, a significant breakthrough occurred in the case. Mexican federal authorities stationed at a drug interdiction checkpoint 
witnessed a vehicle disregard the roadblock and continue driving without stopping. This vehicle had entered Mexico from Texas, crossing the international border, and swiftly travelled along Mexican Federal Highway 2, linking Matamoros and Reynosa in Tamaulipas. On April 11th, following the expansion of their anti-drug operations, U.S.-Mexico authorities apprehended Serafine Hernandez Garcia, a 20-year-old drug dealer, for being in possession of marijuana. During the investigation, Garcia confessed that his family cultivated cannabis at the Santa Elena Ranch, located on the outskirts of the town. It was there that Comandante Juan Benitez Ayala, a member of Mexico's federal police, stumbled upon 75 pounds of marijuana. Additionally, authorities uncovered a disturbing sight described by a witness as a human slaughterhouse. Fifteen individuals' dismembered bodies were discovered buried in shallow graves, and Garcia confessed that Mark Kilroy was one of them. The victims had suffered various forms of brutality, including Burr, 